Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you an awesome England squad builder on FIFA 16. So this team costs around 25k on PS4 and Xbox One and is very solid as you can see really sweaty at the, at the front three um, and also really solid at the back as well. So I've only through the team as you can see in, in goal we have Joe Hart. I think this is his upgraded card, um, so he's got really good all round stats as you can see, his 85 diving, 88 reflexes, 81 handling and 84 positioning. He's also got 76 kicking, so in general you know really good all rounded goalkeeper, um, really good all round stats, definitely a player you should stick in goal, uh, save you loads of goals. As for my centre backs, as you can see I go with Chris Smalling and Cahill, the two England players uh, which I think England are using at the moment in the Euros. Really solid players, I think they're both six foot four, from what I can remember. Um, also they're pretty quick as well, you know, which is useful to have on centre backs. Uh, they're also very good at defending and their physical stats are decent as well. Uh, so they're going to basically win everything in the air and they'll also win their tackles and stuff. So everything you'd want from your centre backs basically. Really solid players. Then alongside them we've got the two Spurs players, Kyle Walker on the right back side and uh, Danny Rose on the left back side. As you can see, very fast players. Rose is a bit slow with that 82 pace um, and then we've got Kyle Walker with that 90 pace. But you know, in general, really good players, great all-round stats, so, uh, really good defending and physical stats as well. And um, they, they have got high medium work rates, both of them, so you might want to stick a player instruction like stay back while attacking on them just to keep that defence solid. Um, but you know that they'll, they'll get forward a bit which and just sort of like help out the attacking players which is useful Then moving on to centre midfielders. We have got Steven Gerrard the legend himself right in the middle um, Really good all-round player. You know, he's really solid this year on FIFA 16 Obviously, he's not the fastest of players for 54 pace But I find that doesn't matter too much on some on your centre midfielders this year Because um, his other stats make up for it. You know, he's got 75 dribbling so he, he feels pretty good on the ball um, as well as his 82 shooting and 86 passing so he's got a really good long shot this guy um, and his passing is insane as well he's also very strong you know he's got that 80 physical and uh, 69 defending and in game to be honest I'd say his defending feels a bit better than 69 he, uh, he could definitely sort of take take the ball off of other t of other players um, but yeah really good centre midfielder definitely a player you should pick up uh, for around 1.8k I think so very good player then alongside him we have got the slightly quicker uh, options, Henderson and Wilshire. Wilshire the only non-rare player in the team, but he's actually been really good for me so far. I th I'd say his stats feel a lot better than what they say on his card. He feels like one of those players um, who has like their lowest stat is like 75 or something. As you can see, that's not the case from his card, but that's what he like feels like in-game basically. Um, he feels very fast, obviously, on the ball. As you can see, he's got very good dribbling. Um, he's got a really good passing as well. And he feels pretty strong as well, you know, when he's got the ball. He's, he's a hard player to get to get off the ball, basically. And then we've got Henderson on the other side, you know, another really good all-rounded player. Uh, pretty fast, really good passing and um, good defending stats as well. So, you know, really good sort of solid centre midfielders. Um, definitely a midfield that will win you lots of will win you the ball lots and, and sort of set up your attacks, basically. Now, as for my front three, as you can see, they are very, very sweaty. Um, I think the lowest, yeah, the lowest pace up up top here. We have 92 pace with Vardy. That is the that's the slowest player, which is insane, you know. Um, left forward, we have got Raheem Sterling. As you can see, 93 pace, 87 dribbling. This guy is absolutely rapid on the ball. Um, he's not the tallest of players, obviously, because um, he's like five foot something. I'm not sure what, but um, obviously you give him, you give this guy the ball, and he, he's going to be pretty hard to take off, basically. Um, he'll sort of weave in and out of defenders and get you a lot of goals. You also got that high attacking work rate as well, so you know lots of runs from this guy. And then on the right side we have got Theo Walcott. This guy is just an absolute god. You know he's so fast up top. You know you put a ball through to this guy, and he'll no defender will be able to catch up with him basically. Um, he's got that 81 dribbling as well, which is pretty good, as well as 77 shooting and 74 passing. So good all-round stats. Really good at finishing off, and um, obviously his long shots aren't great, but you know one on one with the keeper, I found him to be very good. He's also got that high low work rate, which is very good for an attacking player because he won't be coming back. Uh, lots of runs going forward as well from a player that is that quick, very helpful. And then we've got the beast himself, Jamie Vardy, striker, and the hero for England the other day. This guy is an absolute god in game, you know. He's got 92 pace, um, 73 dribbling, which isn't the best but I find that doesn't really make a difference at all to this card because he's just so fast you put this guy through on goal and he'll basically score one on ones most of the time uh, he's also got the 78 physical as well so he can hold players off the ball pretty well 
Um, and he'll just basically get you loads of gold. Got that high attacking work rate as well. Another another front player with the high attacking work rate. So I'll make loads of runs alongside the other players. And uh, yeah, in general, really good striker. Uh, I haven't tried out his team of the season card, but I'd imagine that would be absolutely insane. But yeah, that's today's video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you have and subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you in the next video.